Listen, I had to come on yesterday, Pentecost Sunday. Oh, that was a whole different dim dimension. God really moved yesterday. I mean, a whole total different vibe. And I tell you, I'm excited. Even though we have been up since four something this morning, we out taking care of business. But you know, I just wanted to come in. I just, God just did something yesterday. And if you have an opportunity, go to um, Into His Chambers Global Ministries. You can find us on Facebook. You could go on um, Instagram under Helen Sattler or Your Destiny Helper. Let me tell you, God really moved yesterday and I'm still feeling the impact of what he had released on yesterday. But I just want to come on, um, share with you. If you're going through some things, just change your mindset. You know, you we go through process, go through our processes. We go through different situations. We go through misunderstanding. We go and we have people lie on us. You know, you you you've gone through so much in your life. But if you can go and just have an optimistic mindset, an optimistic attitude, because a lot of times it's not so much as what we go through; it's our attitude, how we respond to it. You know, sometimes we can go through financial difficulties, but what happened is is how we handle it. I mean, do we let that depress us? You you know, you know, you can tell sometimes when when people don't have money or something like that, they um, tend to, you know, be saddened. They're not as um, juvian. They're not as, as joyous. But one of the things to attract wealth, to attract money, to attract prosperity prosperity is your mindset is how you handle things um when situations come you have to be optimistic knowing that that god is always going to bring you out he's already proven himself but also to, um, take note that a scripture that says a generous generous soul or a generous person they um uh prospers and when you go look up that word generous it means that you know to be bountiful means to be lavishing it means to be giving it means to be you know selfless when you do things things, self-sacrificing. Um, and when you have that type of attitude and you sow that, then you will reap that kind of harvest. You will reap bountiful harvest. You will reap prosperity. And, it, and I mean, like the scripture says, a generous heart, a generous person, they will prosper. So when you understand that, then there's another scripture, I think it's in Psalms 25. I think it's Psalms 25. When it talks about a man who fears the Lord, it says a man who fears the Lord, he will also himself dwell in prosperity and then as he dwells in his prosperity in his years then also his his seed his children they will inherit the land inherit the land so one of the things i've learned you have to get to a place when you read the word of god and believe the word of god god talks a lot a, a lot about being prosperous as also as well as living a righteous and holy life but a lot of times what happened is we don't um we 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 get to a place where we have don't don't trust God like we should but we have to get to a place where we believe God's word he wants us to prosper he wants us to succeed to succeed so I just want to leave that note with you on today something short but you know do something nice for someone be you know have a benevolent heart when we have that you know have you gone around some people and they just not friendly you know they um, and sometimes you can go be go going through things, but the, your continent sometimes withdraw people. And not only does it re um, withdraw people from coming around you, it also causes things that can be a blessing to you to, to move from you. You know, finances that can come to you, money that can come to you, the people that can come and be a blessing to you. But sometimes our attitude is the one that causes us to sabotage the blessings that God has for you. He says daily is loaded with benefits. We have to get to a place where we tap into the realm of God and tap into the benefits of God. Go out today. Be an encouragement to someone. Even though you may be going through something yourself. A lot of times, sometimes you, you're you going through, sometimes our bodies is not moving like we want it to move. You know, not that anything's um, wrong with it. But sometimes when you're going and going and your body needs rest then, and, and things like of that nature, get out and just be kind to someone. Be generous 
to someone. Also, one of the words, when you look up generous, it talks about being a high-minded person. And high-minded is not being um, stuck up. High-minded literally means to be someone who's who um, who uh, is their standards and, and principles. They have high standards. They, they have uh, moral excellence. And so when you a generous person, a lot entails in the in that when you become a generous person, you 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 kind, you know, and, and you witty, you you know, you enjoy doing things for people. It does something, especially when you do something nice for someone. If you want to be blessed, be a blessing to someone else. Be be kind to someone. A generous heart. A generous soul will prosper. I love you. Um, look, look me up at times. My life is intentional. And um, also, those of you who may not have gotten my book, um, Destiny Man, The Qualities to Look For, which is a very powerful book. It's my first book. It was a small read and everything. I'm working on another one, which is a lot more intense. But that book is, it talks about a man that God has for you that's qualified. One of the things I've noticed, ladies, you got to ask those questions. You got to ask hard questions. And the, how you do that is you got to know what the vision that you have for yourself. Once you understand your vision, then you look for someone who has a vision and y'all's vision come together and that it matches. When you get the right person, you will know that right person but meanwhile do your self-examination do your your own self reality check get yourself and prepare yourself for someone you know if you got issues that's going in your life if you have not forgiven in anyone if you still having father issues mother issues whatever it may, the case may be if you're still trying to get over you know the ex that you had and you're bitter and, and all those different things get yourself um healed and restored from that first before you look into another relationship you know what i'm saying because you want to come in as a person that is whole you want to come in as a person that knows what it is that you want in a relationship a person of standard uh, you know high quality standards moral standards more excellence and that way when you operate from the end there and that's what you expect from yourself then you will attract someone just like that and so also you can get my book the essence of the aristocratic woman oh that that book right there has been a powerful book now that one the essence of the aristocratic woman it's a book that encourages women who how god sees us and to, for us to see ourselves how god sees us it's a book that ch teaches us how to be women of excellence how to be um the the proverbs 31 women but the woman of kyle of uh, the business woman the sagacious woman the posh woman the woman who enjoys you know it's nothing wrong you go out and enjoy shopping and things like that you know a woman who enjoys you know the the um th uh, better things of life a lot of times we go through and people already try to tell us to settle i'm not settling for anything i will not settle anymore for mediocre i don't settle for the bare minimum i settle for what god has called me to settle for and that when you understand who god is he lavishes us he he wants us to have the best he has created us in his image he has created us in standard huh he has created us in standard he is the god of standard the god of moral excellence so when you begin to understand who you truly are as a woman the essence of the aristocratic woman honey you don't bow down for anybody you and then when i say anybody it doesn't mean that you be a snob to anybody but you don't bow down to the enemy that that um comes up against you that try to tell you you less than hold your head up be the woman that god has called you to be be that business woman be that boss be that uh the uh the woman of ministry whatever god has called you to do to make a difference know that you are called to make a difference that you are unique that god has um designed you um especially after his image but he's designed you every one of us have a different um blueprint we all have our own own handprint so we are not to be like someone else we just to come in and to enhance others we come in to lift up someone else's crown whose head is down that's what we're called to do so you be encouraged and again go back i am so excited god did something in on pentecost sunday yesterday i mean i'm still um embracing what he's done i'm still feeling his presence so just um get if you get a chance go and watch it it was very um awesome also look on your destiny helper helen sadler we are going to be going to um a conference in hawaii go up on her um um helen sadler's 
um, just go to her website, uh, Helen Sattler, Sattler, Your Destiny Helper. Go on there. We're going to Hawaii. It's going to be, I mean, I'm so looking forward to it. I'm just going to look for the refreshing. I'm going to look out for in the waters. See, sometimes you just got to get away and do things that's going to build you, that's going to encourage you, that's going to refresh you, that's going to restore you. You know, that self-care, self-care is so important. And a lot of times we feel guilty about our self-care, taking time for ourselves. We have to get to a place where we have to pour into ourselves. Because if you don't pour into yourself, you won't be able to pour into anybody else period. So, you know, if you cannot pour into yourself, if you can't love on yourself, if you cannot encourage yourself, if you cannot go out and do something special for yourself and go out and explore, go out and see new things, then honey, you won't be any good for anybody else. Get out, learn things, ask God in this season to send you the right people to, to connect with. Surround yourself with people who are positive visionaries. Surround your people with around those who are going somewhere who speak positive, who speak faith. When you know, you got to be careful not to cast your, your pearls into the swine. In other words, when you have, God has given you vision, everybody's not going to understand it. But God will have those that's around you, mentors that's around you, that will pour into you, that will speak life to you, that will encourage you and tell you to go on and go and do what God has called you to be. Let me tell you, you are in the greatest season of your life. No matter what we're seeing, we continue to pray for those who have lost those shootings that we're seeing we continue to bind the enemy bind that murdering spirit and we continue to pray for the church of the lord jesus christ to lie excuse me to line up when you the church comes online we're going to see a great difference but let me tell you something don't just look on what other people's um others are doing and waiting for someone else to make the difference why don't you go out there and make a difference go out there let us go out there and make a change let's go out there on the streets and we we, we go out speak blessings in our neighborhoods speak blessings upon this or um in in america Co speak blessings to to those who are not fortunate and you know the the, the what they call, um, as a matter of fact, and I'm getting ready to go off. I was listening to um, one of the um, success uh, motivation I listened to. And one of the things that um, the man, one of the men was talking about, he says, they always go and be generous to the little man. How you treat those who may not be as, as fortunate for you. And it's not so to say that they're smaller than you are, but it's the waitress that you go. When you go to the to the restaurant, how do you treat that um, waitress? And sometimes they have a bad day just like you have a bad day. But how do you um, treat the janitor? How do you treat someone that may be dealing with mental ish issues and things? Do you go and you talk about them or you, you shun away from them? Or do you uh, yourself be an encouragement? Jesus had compassion. When he had compassion for the, the multitude, he be, they were healed. Sometimes when we have compassion of Jesus Christ, when we walk in that love that he walks in, it, that in itself can change someone. And you never know by your very presence, if you are a person that's optimistic and you, you're generous in your heart, you're a giving person, just by the anointing that's on your life can literally change someone that may be going through issues and mental issues, depression, just by your very presence hallelujah will bring someone to a place where they can keep on going well, let's release hope out there let's let people know that jesus is still god jesus is still on the throne jesus is still lord no matter what they may be going through jesus is the answer i love you be blessed again go check out my books on amazon you will be blessed and i uh, love you have an awesome day have a prop prosperous week have a fecunditty week fecunditty week is which means have a fertile week have a prosperous week have a fruitful week have a bountiful week and know that jesus love you we'll see you next time